Hey there cubies, welcome back to the channel. Today we'll be unboxing and reviewing the Akoma 007 PC and take a deep dive into this keyboard's high quality typing experience. First, let's unbox this keyboard. As by Akko's standard, the packaging is sleek and minimalistic, featuring the Akko logo and a clear image of the keyboard itself. Inside, we find a keyboard on a clean white polycarbonate case with blue and white keycaps. As for components, you'll get a standard braided USB-C cable, a switch puller, a keycap puller, and a set of accent keycaps. Now before we do anything else, let's do a quick stock sound test. Now considering that these were just factory loot, they sounded really nice and typed quite smoothly. The spacebar stabilizers rattled a bit, but that's an easy fix. We're going to end up looping all of the switches and the stabilizers anyways. The blue and white keycaps are cherry profile, double shot PBT all around. The quality is very good and it looks roughly one and a half millimeter thick. The PCB is mounted onto the board via gaskets that are protected with these thick silicone pieces. The top plate is made out of a pretty flexible polycarbonate, which is nice, but you can also swap out this plate for other materials if you like. For instance, I have these replacement top plates for my Monskeek M1, and they have the exact same measurements. Next, we have a soft poron plate foam that's become the standard for Akko's newer keyboards. Below that, you also get a one-piece IXPE switchpad. Now, this is my favorite part of the keyboard. This is a per key flex cut hot swap PCB where every key gets personal attention in the flex department, with a few exceptions, of course. Combine the gasket mount, the bendy PC plate, and the per key flex cut, and you get this soft gif that translates into a really nice, smooth typing experience that just feels great under your fingers. Now before we talk about the switches, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe if you've enjoyed this content so far. So this is Akko's new linear switches, aptly named Piano for its black and white color scheme. These switches have an operating force of 48 grams, a total travel of 3.5 millimeter, and a bottom out at 53 grams. These switches look to be factory looped, although if you buy directly from the store, you can get them hand looped instead. Honestly, from the minimal loop that are on these things, I was pleasantly surprised at how well they sounded and felt. The longer springs in these switches will give you a slightly snappier upstroke. We'll take a quick minute to loop all of these switches for our next sound test. As for the stabilizers, they were also pre-looped, but I will apply a coat of Crytox on the stem and the lower housing and permatex grease on the bars. Right, let's throw in a few of these freak accent keycaps to make our keyboard stand out a little bit and see what it sounds like after our loop job. Wow, I hoped you liked that sound test because I really did. 
the keyboard feels and sounds great right out of the box, but adding some Crytox 205 Grade Zero to the switches made it sound dockier and even more satisfying. Of course, it's not always about the sound. The keyboard has an impressive flex too, thanks to its gasket mount, its flexible PC plate, and the per-key flex cut PCB. This is just a sweet ass keyboard that will perform really well as your daily driver. Now because this is a flex cut PCB, you're not going to see any RGB, which can be a deal break for some people. There's clear benefits to just having some backlighting when you're typing. There's also not a wireless option for this keyboard, so definitely keep that in mind. But if those things are not an issue for you and you're just looking for a stunning pre-built keyboard in the $100 range, check this one out in my description below. As always, thank you so much for watching. I can't believe I'm almost at 1200 subscribers, it's crazy. Also, don't forget to like, share, or drop a comment down below on what you liked or disliked about this video. I can take it.